And, and they're right there. See, I've always said this. People don't know how to talk to each other anymore. They know how to text. They know how to be ugly on social media. I mean, I had a YouTube short about going to speak somewhere. It was in Flint, Michigan, flying into Detroit. And the car service was supposed to pick me up at three. They got a fax. That's how long ago it was. It looked like it was a five. And oh. the girl came, the sales and marketing executive. Now, they don't even exist anymore, sadly. But they, one of the members had a company, a car company, and sent a brand new stretch limo. Well, I didn't ask for that limo, and I certainly didn't ask for the driver. That girl was out of her mind, couldn't drive. Wow. And bless her heart, I tried, you know, it was, our lives were on the line, you know. But she got better when she got on the interstate out of the airport. But there was this massive tire that the tread came off, hit the car. She started crying. I said, pull over. And I had to drive. Well, all of that to say, the story's funny. It's, it's a humor bit. And the meeting planner was jaw dropped when he saw me driving her in the back of the car. Yeah. But people just, I, I looked at my views and it was like over 24 hours, it was like almost 2,000 views. I said, what is this? Well, they started throwing me under the limo, the bus, because, oh, privileged person trying to relate. And yeah. I went, what? And so I made the mistake of engaging in conversation, uh -oh. which I never should have because I wasn't going to win. Because when I would say, I didn't ask for that limo. Well, you should have told them that the driver was not capable. Well, I didn't know what to do. I, I actually wrote a letter. I felt sorry for her. Well, you shouldn't. Have. See, it was it didn't matter yeah. what I said. I got on the defense and they were on offense. So when you take a battle like that, I, I don't know, Deb, what should I have done? Just say thank you for your comments or just not even not just delete it. I mean, what would what was what would you advise somebody to do that, you know, and it happens a lot. People get back and forth on social media. I mean, pick, 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 and then it escalates into something crazy. So what would you advise? Well, it's so funny. So I leave tomorrow to teach realtors and I'm actually, the title is the weaponization of social media. How about that? And that is what it is. It is the weaponization of social media, but here's the key, Jane, never send a third reply. That's a fight. So they respond oh, and you good. respond and then you cut off the comments and they can be mad at you all day long. It doesn't matter. They weren't voting for you anyway. They weren't coming to your show. They weren't buying your book. They just felt empowered to say hateful things. And unfortunately we're seeing more and more of that. Yes, you should engage, but you need to engage on the platform where the fight started. So what happens is somebody gets mad at you on Twitter and the company goes to Facebook and you're like, ah, wrong place. So that's crisis communication. You need to know where you're going. Now, I would say all those people who are hateful you, to you, they're, they're not in your friend book. They're not even your people. And they just felt like they could. And this whole idea of um, attacking people for their beliefs, their race, their creed, uh, it's, it's gotten out of hand. And so in a sense, you do have to fight back, but also they're not, you know, it's like, why let somebody worry you who's has no value or whose opinion isn't, isn't anybody you would seek out. And I know it sounds harsh. Oh, you're supposed to love everybody. Well, I will if you're kind, but if you're not, I'm moving right along because I got a lot of work to do in the world, but just so yeah, rule number, you know, it's kind of like <laughs> we say in crisis communication, when it gets bad, turn off the fan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we need it to continue on, but never send a third reply. That starts a fight. I love that. The third reply. I'm going to remember that. Yeah, that's, okay. that's a, do you have other tips like that? The one liners about this is boom, boom, boom. I don't want you to give away a presentation, <laughs> but that was very good. The third sure. response. That's it done cut it off anything else you can tell folks who maybe yeah, feel you know, nasty all the time so jane it's something else i really encourage people to do and you do a great job and i don't do a great job because i'm spending so much time working but you really need to build your social media and it doesn't always have to be about your your company it's not a client in connecticut she's running for office and she's like nobody's engaging with me on facebook you know i don't know and wine 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 and I said, well, I'll tell you what, next time, because I went and looked at her Facebook page and it was politics, 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 opinion, 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 fight, fight, fight. I said, why don't you put up a post that says, why are we called the nutmeg state? 
And she's like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I'm like, fine, we'll just put it up and see what happens. Boom, 400 positive comments. Why? Because everybody wants to weigh in and not about politics. And you know, who knows why their Connecticut's called the nutmeg state. There's a thousand reasons why. But what we did is we changed the dialogue. We changed the focus. And sometimes, especially in the political world, you're not going to win. I mean, even if we agree, you're still mad at me. You're, you're not going to let me win. So you have to do other things. And so that's what I focus on. I really encourage people to maybe every third or fourth or fifth post is something about your state. I mean, South Carolina, oh, we've got great things. We have like the largest ginkgo tree here. We sell the most. We have, um, you know, sweet grass baskets. We are the only place in the nation that does those. We have the sweet tea trail. We also are the home place of barbecue. I know North Carolina argues with us, but we win. Uh, we, we grow more peaches than Georgia. So what happens is you start, you start plugging in small fun facts. You are building your community of likes. And so when something negative happens, they go, well, that doesn't sound like that. And I've already built likes. I'm not looking for anybody. And they come to your rescue. They don't come to your rescue if you've never done anything to engage them. And I have found I more, that. Yeah, more and more people are refusing to do the, the fun stuff, the silly stuff. But yeah. yeah, you will be in my friend list because you've liked it. So when right. something negative happens, I have now put a, at least part of a shield up to protect me. And then my team will come.